Let's see. Got him. This is gonna kill him? It will not. But we did get him. Alright, cool. He's worth a lot of souls. Maybe he has something else on his body, but right now he's just worth a lot of souls to me. Oh, buddy! Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Why are you both following me? Oh, I know why you're both following me. You do so much damage. Thankfully, I think I got that guy. That might be... Nope, that's not ballgame on him either. Thankfully, it's ball game on him now. You gonna give me anything? Madman's knowledge, which we're gonna have to take here. Use it. Boom, we got it. Come on, brah. Oh, you do a lot of... You do a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Nope, nope, nope. Holy cow, I think this is the first time I've ever managed to uh, table all three hunters on the first go. Usually, like, it takes me a try or two to kill any of them. He gave me all the Quicksilver bullets. Let's see, what did the other guy drop? I think he gives me something special. Claw mark. Oh, that's it. Claw mark and something else. We had another, uh, we had another rune that we picked up. All right. Carol runes. I don't remember. I'm going to have to go back. Anyway, claw mark. The claw mark is an impulse to seek the warmth of blood like a beast. It strengthens visceral attacks, one of the darker hunter techniques. Although the difference is subtle, runesmith Carol describes the beast as a horrific and unwelcome instinct deep within the hearts of men, while claw mark is an alluring invitation to accept the ver this very nature. Ups visceral attacks. Attack. Vi Ups, visceral attack, attack, 10%. Blood rapture, visceral attacks restore HP plus 200, more blood echoes from visceral attacks, more blood echoes from visceral attacks, physical damage reduction, uh, what, what the heck was it that we missed? Air? Might have been one of the airs. More blood echoes, air. This I feel like is going to give me more blood echoes than this, but it doesn't explain it to me very well, or there may just be two of them. Now let's see what's outside this big-ass chapel room thing that we're in. And is there still the little witch that's over here? No. She is gone. The hunters have killed her, at least. Because I think we went back in time. And these things are crazy looking. Thankfully we've killed... Give me the bullets. Now it's just cleaning out random stuff that's here. Thankfully my attack is quick. So fast, even, that they can't even keep up with me. I know, I told Nick, I was like, I'm not going to do any more of the main story without you. But scheduling conflicts and such, and then just getting sidetracked by a bunch of stuff. So here we are. We're not... We will not go into the next boss arena without him. But we will, however, do this. And farm a bunch of souls, and then probably buy a bunch of blood or some something... Thankfully. Is there anything behind this? No? This elevator is... No? No? Nothing behind it. I think this is the elevator I almost walked down earlier. Pretty positive, at least. Maybe it's not. Maybe I was crazy. 
Or maybe I was so right it hurts. Ho oh, ho! Nice try, guy. The old college attempt to get me with a thing. Okay, and we jump out of the elevator here, and it gets me to a strange, strange place. Okay, and I can actually go down from here. I hate dogs. I hate dogs. Well, I love dogs, but I hate these dogs. I hate souls dogs. Inspect the bath. Another bloodstone chunk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's going down like Donkey Kong. He's got a foot tail. Which did him no good as I just visceral attacked the crap out of this dog thing. Twin bloodstone shards. Blood chunk. Okay, we got two more or we got a bunch more blood chunks. Which I actually think we might be able to blood chunk it up hard enough to not need what's it called I know what I'm talking about even if no one else does 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 all right you know what we're gonna go back this way because even though I can inspect the bath I don't want to inspect the bath Because if I inspect the bath, it will teleport me to a place where I will not be able to go back to the hunter's dream. Aw, oh, darn it. Tap that button accidentally. Set the controller down on my leg. Button decided that that needed to be pushed. Now we're... That's not where I needed to go. I gotta go this way. All these, all these twists and turns and old Yargool... Really driving me up a wall. Return to the dream. Because we have a lot of blood. And some madman's knowledge. But mostly the blood is what we're worried about. Oh, buddy. First, first things first. Check. Can we level the weapon? Fortify weapon. Uncanny saw cleaver. Level 8. Boom, we're in it. Now we need a blood rock, which I think you get two of those. Blood gem fortification. It's going to be hard to beat that. Thankfully, I don't have to. I just have to do the attack versus beast down. Oh. Nope, we're looking... Nine points. Wait. So what is my thing now? So my thing now is 229. It's 229 and 100 versus beasts. Let's see. Two thirty seven. All right, so we've got 237, Cursed, Tempering Blood Gem. Which, let's see. 229. So, we have 237, which 229 to 237 is 8 points. We lost 9 points, so... The 229 is still better...
That's still better at the 16 and a half. Now, physical attack of 9.1. Okay. Nope. So that's, that's as good as it's going to get there. My blood gems as good as they're going to get. Now, let's see. Moon, air. We'll assume that that's going to give me more. We'll assume. I know, going to make an ass out of me and you, but that is what we are going to take solace in the fact of. Welcome. What is it? I'd like to channel know. my blood echoes. Let, let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Now, what do I want to put points into? Skill? Yeah, skill works. Very well. Alright. Now I don't want to use that special blood. I would like to, uh... Sure, we'll... Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Welcome. What? Very well. What is it that I desire? I just would like to, uh, do that real quick. Hmm. Now, what did I have left in my Chalice Dungeon? Chalice Dungeon's always a good time. Level 3. Did I unlock what the, uh, thing is? I feel like I did. I feel like I went in and I unlocked the... Oh, darn it. Sorry, I had a... Had a text message there that I had to reply to. I know, not the best time to do it. Oh, cool, I opened the, the area to the boss. And we're going to assume that I've also cleaned out all that. So now we're just on to the boss, which time to see what the boss is. Probably something I don't want to fight right now. What do I got here? Summon Prospector Olek. First off, let's see what we got. Oh, we're fighting Rom. We are fighting Rom the Vacuous Spider. In a room. You know what? Olek, we're going to call you in, buddy. You're on deck, bro. We're going to fight Rom. I'm sorry, second Rom. First Rom we already killed. I need you, Olek. I need you to come take aggro from all the stuff. This is probably a bad idea. Prospector Olek is probably going to cost me this run, but we're going to try. I forgot I came in here just to, uh... Oh man, no, never mind. Prospector Olek did not cost me the thing. Stupidity cost me the thing because I was like, oh, I'll take out all these little guys. And Olek didn't even come in. Didn't even play a part in any of that. He was just like, nope, I'm good. I'm out. Don't worry about it. Damn it. 